The truth is that cars have evolved a lot faster than we have. Our, our bodies are just not equipped to handle the forces in common crash scenarios. I'm Dr David Logan. I'm a Senior Research Fellow at the Monash University Accident Research Centre. My name is Christian Kenfield. I'm a trauma surgeon here at the Royal Melbourne Hospital. My name is Patricia Piccinini and I'm an artist. On a nearly daily basis I see the effects of motor vehicle accidents, both uh, passengers, drivers and of course the pedestrians that are involved in these accidents. In the modern world we're subjecting our bodies to much higher speeds and, and the body just doesn't have the physiology to absorb the energy when things go wrong. The dangers at even low speeds such as 25, 30, 35 kilometres an hour is quite great. So if we were to try to design the body, if we were able to do that in a way that would afford more protection, it's a difficult question, it's not something that we think about often. What excites me about this project is its relevance to our community. They get to collaborate with really interesting people and that's really energising. I really feel as though it's possible to make a difference in road safety. We really work hard on developing evidence-based research. In 50% of crashes, the car doesn't have time to brake. So what happens to the body? Does it go under or over? For the higher cars, like four-wheel drives, instead of going over the top of the bonnet, if they're high enough, they'll catch you and they'll drag you underneath instead. The most significant part of, of the body for injury is the head. And so as the head stops, the brain actually keeps moving forwards smashing against the front part of the skull mm -hmm. and then bouncing backwards and getting an injury on the back of the head as well. And we just don't appreciate when we're talking about the forces in a car accident, but they're incredible. The strongest man cannot hold himself from going forwards in a car accident because the forces are so great. A crash is about managing energy, so when, when we're moving along the road we have energy. When we suddenly stop the car because we're in a crash, that energy has to be absorbed by the car and by the driver. It would be great if we had more protection. We want to stop over time. What we need to be thinking is airbag rather than armour. It's sad that we need to think about changing our body just so that we can survive a motor vehicle crash. For me, this is a challenge to make a work that's not just a museum piece. It can be the vehicle for a very important idea.